Chicago police are responding after a violent night, several shootings with more than a dozen people shot. Sally is here now and she has more on what CPD just announced. Roseanne, Sally. we've seen this before. The temperatures go up, so can the level of violence. And now we're just getting some new information from police. Since yesterday afternoon, Chicago has seen two mass shootings. Here are some of the new details we're learning. I want to start in the back of the yards. 430 yesterday afternoon, a 16 year old was shot and killed. Four other teens critically wounded but expected to survive. This was some surveillance video of that scene. When police arrived on the scene, they say two officers were battered there. Police also telling us now it's all part of a gang war. Police say it flared up when a high ranking gang member was released from prison recently. His brother was murdered, likely by a rival gang member. And then that gang leader got arrested for having a gun two weeks ago, but got out on a cash bond. Police Superintendent David Brown says since then, the gang violence had just escalated in the back of the yards. The risk assessment of violent offenders need to get better by our judges in making the decisions to release these people back to the community because they can drive not just violence but retaliatory violence, which is much more destructive in the community because it has no end. That once you retaliate, then the other group retaliates back. So th this should be a person held in jail when we caught him with a gun uh, back a few months ago, and we wouldn't have had some of the issues that we're having.